So just closing your eyes and just be aware of the space around you and the energy within you. And as you breathe, you may be aware of a sort of a heavy feeling coming around you. And the reassurance here is that this heavy feeling is a positive event that is occurring. There's a pressure coming into your energy field and the light around this pressure I'm feeling and seeing a very dark light but it's not black it's like the darkest indigo light I think I've ever seen it's almost black but it's like if you had like a, a crystal that looks almost opaque but then you shine a light through it and you can see that it's actually more of a really deep midnight blue to the naked eye it would look black but if you sort of have light reflected through it it is of the light spectrum and a very deep indigo light spectrum and the word that they bring here is power the power of your will your will power and this is something that is being strengthened and the pressure that I'm feeling uh, is akin to when we talk about a diamond being made from uh, coal when it's under pressure. So it's like we're being energetically squeezed <laughs> and this pressure wants to squeeze out something from within our psyche or our subconscious that isn't serving us, that doesn't belong to us, that needs to be retrieved from deep within us. Now, it feels like this is something that was taken from another. So this might be the soul retrieval aspect uh, that the guides are talking about, where when we were in a state of disempowerment or where we weren't acting from a place of power, we falsely believed that we needed another's power. And this is squeezing out this fragment of another's soul energy and it feels like there's one particular person here for each of us that we need to acknowledge or take ownership of where we have uh, inadvertently taken this person's power. You might be aware of who this person is, or you may have no idea. But just know that this soul fragment is being released from your energy field now, so just give it permission to go. Because in believing at some point that we needed to take another's power, we've disempowered ourselves. And in fact, we've given them power over us. So this could be someone that you find in this life does do something to disempower you. If you know who they are, it may be a relationship that you find somehow disempowering or there might be a power struggle here. And just ask your higher self to clear any oaths, vows or contracts that allowed this to occur. Whether you made these oaths or vows or contracts willingly or unwillingly, whether it was known to you or whether it was unknown to you or whether you were tricked into it somehow. Just handing back that fragment, handing it over to the highest divine love energy to be healed transmuted and returned.
I come among you now, sweet ones. I am the mistress of the night. I have been known to instill fear in those who have looked upon my face for I am the very epitome of darkness itself. And yet I am here to return you to light. For how can you truly know the light if you have not first known and faced the dark? That faceless demon that lurks in your shadow causes you to cower from who you are to retract your power like a shriveled raisin. How does that serve you to retract, to cower, to hiss from a corner like a spitting snake, to slink in the shadows, to hide, to hide your light. Does that serve you? Does that make of you a warrior? What are you waiting for? What are you hiding from? Where is the comfort in the cold dark? What is this? Gifting you with? Why so afraid to shine, sweet ones? Why so afraid? You have squeezed yourselves too small for your light. You have set yourselves beneath the trampling feet of those who are not worthy of you. Rise. Raise yourselves up, I implore you. Raise yourselves to the stature of your true towering soul, purpose and dominion. Raise yourselves in your own estimation. Raise yourselves in your own minds. Why so slithering and small, beloveds? Why do this to yourselves? You come into a circle such as this and your brilliance is there on show. You reveal yourselves and you shine in the company of other shiners. And yet you hide the light in the day to day. I do not speak of language. I speak of action.
Why shrink your light? Why shrink your courage? Why shrink your commitment to the light? Outside of this space, all the world is sacred, is it not? Outside of this space, all the world is your ministry. You are not here to be told how to live. You are here to decide how to live and to make it possible for others to decide for themselves. Do not cower. Do not allow yourselves to be squashed. Do not dim your light for anyone. Rules are rules, yes, here in this paradigm, and yet you are not governed by these rules. You do not operate according to the laws of this universe, of this planet, of this realm. You have come to reveal another way. Break the rules, break them all, smash the rule book on the floor, make your own rules and do it with love but do it with conviction and with passion in your heart. What world would you create? What would you make? How would you live? If you were in charge of your own life, what would that life be like? You have been shown restriction. You have known it well. You have set yourself beneath the bar. Some of you at the very lowest rung for too long. You have needed to know what you were dealing with. I am here to tell you that that bar is an illusion and you have created it yourself. It is a challenge for you to overcome, for you to find your way out of like a great maze, a great game. an invisible wall within your own consciousness. And you've tried to fight it and push against it and kick it and shout at it, argue with it, blame it, discourage it. You cannot push against it, you cannot force it. The way through is in. In to the heart. In to the heart and out to the divine. You are finding another way. You are seeking another path. You are breaking the mold. 
You know this way, it is ancient, you have done it before. None of this is new to you. And it is so very simple. It is so simple indeed. It is easy. It is the path of grace. And yet the path of grace can feel so heavy and such a burden. For at times it means you must choose yourself over all others. And this is one of those times. How often do you seek to serve another at the cost of your own calling, your own heart, your own soul's longing, your own purpose? For some of you it is agony to choose yourself over another. What is it you are atoning for? Find your way into your soul's truth now. Within you is a core knowing a calling, it is an essence, sit back into it and let it open within you, it is your soul, it is showing you the way, it is guiding you, it is blossoming, it is expanding, It is glowing. Find yourself into the energy of grace. Slither from your cave, dear one. Find your inner sun. It is not a linear path. You do not have hoops to jump through and boxes to tick. Sit back, sit back into this energy and let yourself billow forth like a flame. Feel the spark of your desire rising, rising. Feel the light within your lowest energy centers now igniting. Desire. Why so ashamed of your desire? Desire is what fuels the flame. Desire is what calls you home. What is it about your desire that you would diminish? Desire brings you to pleasure, pleasure brings you to divinity.
let the coiled serpent unravel in the light do not shrink yourselves into the corner up against the wall hidden, squashed, small what makes your heart and soul sing let go of earthly goals let go of earthly attachment in this moment and let your desire speak to you invite it to come into the light to uncoil and unwind rising up your spine let your prowess speak to you bring forth the mighty mystery that lies hidden in your depths why so fearful of what it might bring might it bring with it a power it certainly brings a power it brings an unstoppable power that is needed on this planet more than ever it is the power to destroy it is the power to create what do you fear you might destroy if you bring your power forward what do you fear you might create if you bring your power forward on their own destruction and creation can be both good and bad intention is everything bring those forces together and you open a field a new field an infinite field where the forces of creation and destruction work in harmony as an unfoldment and this is the state of grace of which I speak now to you all that is extraneous to your unfoldment now must be dissolved Are you ready to embrace your power? Raise your desire and see it through. Where are you denying your desire? Your desire is pure. and when you raise it to your heart and open to the infinite possibility that abounds here 
in the field. The field of infinite love, potentiality. You raise your desire and in the not knowing how it will play out, you open to a miracle. And you call your innermost desire to you even without knowing what it is. We would ask you, we would invite you to work from this energy, from this vibration, from this not knowingness. The desire to fulfill your soul is all you need with the intention to be of service to all. Make this a daily practice and you will magnetize to you all of the miracles you desire. And here you are, a rod of infinite power, a conductor. Bringing divine thought, holy word, into matter. Trusting in your higher self to draw you to all of the experiences and opportunities that have already been decided for you before you incarnated on this planet. Raise yourself in your estimation, dear ones. Be the field. Be the field of ultimate divinity. Magnetize your soul's light and purpose to you. Welcome your desire. Fan the flames of your passion. Revel in that feeling of allowing yourself all that you desire and trusting. As you sit in grace and open this field, the merging of creation and destruction forces into one neutral, unconditional love zone. That all that is for you is coming to you now and all that is extraneous to your purpose is dropping away. Be excited in this unfoldment of your desires. For this is a new day and if you choose it the struggle can be over now. I speak to you as the one you know as the goddess Sekhmet. Gaze into my amber eyes and see a fire blazing there. I am the devourer of hate and the illuminator of souls. My compassion is fierce. My love is ruthless. I am frightening to some, and yet I harm none.
and if you carry your faith forward, I shall be your protectress. I will burn all that stands in your way and you shall become an unstoppable force for this world. Fear not the darkness that rises on this planet for it is my influence. I have returned in all my glory. I seek redemption for humanity. and the flames I send are a purification. I speak to the way showers and the light bringers of this planet of which you number among. Your time of feeling small is done. Take up your chariot of light and blaze like the sun. To you no harm will come. Devote yourself to your purpose, to your desire, yet harm none. Be vigilant in your intention, for if you stray from your path, my retribution is swift. Devote yourself to the true path. You know of which I speak. It has always been within you. It is your calling. Fear not your power. Chaos comes before the calm. This time on earth is done. A new time has begun. I am Sekhmet and my love blazes like 10,000 suns upon you. Lift your heart, step into the light shine, shine, shine. So she's showing me a brilliant, brilliant red-orange light, like a spiral of light at the base of the spine uncoiling and it's like a red-orange fire uncoiling and traveling up the spine, all the way up the spine 
into the base of the skull and then up into the third eye and a flame igniting in the third eye and at the third eye the flame turns blue and violet and a spiral is appearing in the third eye and these two spirals are counter rotating so the one at the base of the spine sort of moving clockwise and it travels up to the third eye and this one is turning blue and violet and rotating anti-clockwise and it's these two polarities almost like the masculine and the feminine working in tandem the creation and the destruction energy where desire meets knowledge wisdom meets desire and as these two energies now travel back to meet in the heart this is where this beautiful field of unconditional love and neutrality opens up and where you magnetize to you everything that is for you letting all uh, obstacles just dissolve away from you and you need do nothing else other than just allow yourself to sit in this field of energy as it opens around you like a giant vesica pisces and this is where you enter the new paradigm for nothing that is meant for you can pass you by as you sit in this space and you call your higher self forward and simply ask for the support that you need for all of your desires and your, your sole purpose to now be fulfilled and you can ask in this space for your desire to meet your purpose so that your desire matches what you have come here to do so you are truly living your passion and in that you are creating heaven upon the earth and in the heart sparks this brilliant flame that is white in the center going out to blue then magenta red and then orange and gold and this is the infinite heart this is the heart field And if you live from this place in absolute grace, then you just call everything to you that you need and obstacles melt away. And as you sit in this spectrum of light, now send that energy out across your planet, your universe, you at the center of everything, send it through all your projects send it through all your relationships send this signal out across all levels time spaces dimensions all highways of light send it through your cellular memory your dna send it through your ancestry your lineage back and forward through your akashic record and open to the knowing this is the state of Gnosis drop into bliss
And now as we prepare to come back, be aware of your physical body and just feel how your body is feeling in this energy. Just let your body relax in this energy. Feel all resistance in the body just melt away. Become aware of the edge of your body, the edges of your arms, your legs, your face, your head. Let your consciousness return to the body, shrinking it back, becoming body shaped. So feel this field of energy rippling out from your body, from your heart. Feel your heart. This beautiful circuitry of light. This beautiful resonance. just sink into your skin just let yourself now feel extra comfortable in your own skin feel what it feels like to be at home in your body with nowhere to go nothing to do just to be at home here in this beautiful beautiful energy at rest in the body, at rest in your energy. Absolute trust. That all that is yours is coming to you. And feel nourished in this energy just feel this nurturing. Just feel the body absorbing everything it needs and releasing any feelings of exhaustion, restriction, tension. And just letting out a big sigh, just releasing. beautiful palm tree swaying in the breeze. And then just breathing all your awareness now back into the room with the intention of bringing this blissful energy all the way back into your daily life to color your every facet of your existence the minute you open your eyes and just very gently breathing and releasing and opening the eyes coming all the way back into conscious daily waking reality.